Hey guys, we're going into the last match in our league, uh, and we are joining it now. We lost a die roll. That isn't supposed to happen. Let's see what kind of hand we get. Uh, we definitely got kind of a weird one for our deck. We got lots of non-creatures. I think I hold on to it, though. I mean, if we can stick a console's lieutenant and follow it up with the Knight of the White Orchid. We're on the uh, draw, too, so our Knight on turn three will search us up a Plains. Um, and we'll be in stasis snare range. Um, so I think I like it. It's not like our usual ideal hand. And against some decks, it's not going to be a very good hand. Um, but I think I'm okay with it. So we're looking to go 4-1 and one here. Uh, we won our first three matches without even losing a game. Then round three, we, we crushed in one game and got crushed the other two. Um, in round four, that is. So... Uh, See, we're looking to finish 4-1 and one here and do a little better than just finish making back our 80 play points. Uh, but, you know, I've already sort of at least reached the minimum, like, goal that I had here. So, <laughs> at least there's that. All right, would have been nice to draw one drop there rather than a Plains, especially when we have our Knight of the White Orchid anyway. But, you know, that's okay. So, black. So, what are we playing against? Could be a lot of things. Um, we're just going to play more lands. Is not what we want to see. We're going to play our Consul's Lieutenant. So we can, like, Silk Wrap a blocker out of the way. This is looking more like it's probably a mid-range deck of one kind or another. Um, than any More likely than anything else. Yeah, Ultimate. Ultimate Price main board is a little interesting, but it is very good against our deck, unfortunately, <laughs> for us. I don't know if I'd usually main board it because of Eldrazi being around, but like I said, very good against our deck. Okay, so uh, we're going to play our Knight so we can get our free planes out of our deck. We will use its ability to get a planes. And we'll also play our Mardu Woe Reaper. Um, and we'll use our Consul's Lieutenant and go up to 21. All right. So, see if our opponent flaying tendrils or something like that here. It's hard. I don't exactly know what we're up against here. Um, like, still don't really know. Um <laughs> Kologon's command. Okay. Well, we have plenty of lands, so <laughs> that I will lose. Yeah, it's definitely a more of a control deck, so we can... This is not the kind of hand we wanted to keep against a control deck. Um, we are happy with our opponent hurting himself, but he's able to do it because we don't have, like, any pressure. Okay, that's... It's good to actually draw a dude. So we're going to get in for two here. Um... I'm going to play Relic Seeker, and I'm trying to decide if I want to hold on to a card in my hand to bluff here, and I think I do. I mean, we have the mana for our Angel, uh, so, you know, making it look like we have even more things going on in our hand seems nice. So, Siege Rhino? Yeah, okay. Well, that's not ideal. Um, so, we're up against, like, a more traditional Abzan, like Abzan Red kind of deck. Um... Luckily, we can stasis snare this guy out of our way. But if our opponent also has what you call it charm, <laughs> what you call it charm, uh, not what you call it, it's uh, Dramoka's command, then we're going to be pretty sad, and this is going to be a bad matchup for us. This deck is best in a world where people aren't playing Abzan, which is mostly the case right now, but this opponent is definitely playing it. Seed Rhino has kind of fallen out of favor thanks to... Um, the uh, Reflector Mage, so you don't see it so much right now. And without Siege Rhinos around, this deck can do pretty well, as you've seen in the other four rounds. But against Siege Rhino, this deck definitely struggles. Um, these, these decks always seem to have multiple Siege Rhinos, don't they? It's kind of disgusting. That is not going to help us get through Siege Rhino. <laughs> so we're just going to have to end our turn. So we definitely have a sideboard game against this. I mean, we're going to lose these Silk Wraps that are god-awful in a matchup like this one. Um, all right, roast. We're going to lose the silk wraps and put in, um, the, uh, suspension fields or whatever they're, I think that's what they're called. Um, 
And uh, our Archangel of Tides is very good in this matchup. Well, uh, we can at least Silk Wrap that. So at least we have that going for us. So Silk Wrap. Goodbye. And Offenza. Um, I'm going to get in for two here. I mean, I'm not blocking that Siege Rhino anyway, so... In my turn. So yeah, definitely Abzan Red uh, seems to be the deck we're up against. It's more abzan -y than anything else. Painful Truths. Not a great card against us, but the card advantage is probably worth it since we weren't able to put nearly as much pressure on opponent as this deck usually seems to be able to do. We kept kind of a slow hand. That would have been good against a, a fellow aggro deck because we could have just blown all his guys out of the way. Um, but we can't do that here, so... I don't know. Maybe this is Mardu Green. Maybe that's what it is more than anything else. Another Stasis Snare. I think I'm okay with. So... We get in there. We have Silk Wrap to deal with another Advocate. Another Siege Rhino is bad news, obviously. Um, really bad news. <laughs> but uh, what else? I mean, a Dragon would be bad, too, right now. And Goblin Dark Dweller is also bad. Um, so he's going to get back Kolagon's Command, probably. Kill our guy. Yeah, kill our guy and make us discard a Plains. Silk Wrap can't deal with that guy, so... Where's Torpor Orb when you need it? Why isn't it in this format? All right. What do we got here? Archangel. Ugh. Dragon Hunter. Can't block that guy alone. <laughs> Neither could the Archangel, so. But, yeah, I think I think we just lose this game. I mean, we made a better showing than I thought, mostly because our opponent damaged himself, like, five, five damage. So the game's closer than it would otherwise be. But we kept a, definitely a bad hand for against a uh, a control deck, and our deck also can get a lot better against other decks. So that's probably Den Protector. The good news is if it is Den, I mean, we're dead anyway. So I want to find out if it's Den Protector, though. So I may as well play Silk, Silk Wrap. So Silk Wrap isn't terrible here. Um, it is Den Protector. Okay, that's what I wanted to see. We concede the game. We sideboard. Um, okay, Vryn Wingmare is good here. Radiant Purge is pretty good, but not incredible. Um, I definitely think I want to bring in all well, sorts of Righteousness kills. Seed Rhino, it kills. The goblin, but the you know they already get their value. So surge of righteousness, surge of righteousnessing them is not amazing. I think I do want to bring in at least one suspension field and maybe two because the field can hit a Sylvan Advocate once. Yeah, it can hit Sylvan Advocate too. Um, the only thing it can't hit is a morph. So I mean, our dragon slayers are fine. Um, so is Valorous Stance here. But I think we lose a Felidar Cub. Um, I mean, we probably cut one Silk Wrap. I mean, it's not incredible here. So, But I think leaving two is probably okay. Uh, Archangel's good. I mean, it can block Siege Rhino all day in addition to being immune to most of the good removal in the deck. Can't be Roasted. Can't be Fiery Impulsed so for, and so forth. Um... Yeah, I mean, the cards that are less good, like Consul's Lieutenant may actually be a little less good here, because even once it has Renown, it can be Fiery Impulsed or Wild Slashed, so I don't love that. Um, and I'm going to be on the play, so I think Cutting One Knight is probably also fine So for this match. I may put third back in, um, but yeah, I think, I think that's where we want to go. I'd love to get the Wing Mares going against this deck. Um, and we have one in our hand, but and we have three one drops. This hand, this hand is tempting. 
I mean, we can get a much quicker start, get in there, damage our opponent, unless, of course, he plays his Sylvan Advocate. Um, and we have two Kithion, so it's not really like we have three one-drops. So, yeah, I think I have to mulligan. All right, this is okay. Our opponent also mulligan, so we have that going for us at least. Um, but we'll keep this one. Hidden Dragon Slayer will probably come up decently big. Opponent mulling to five. Could be good for us as well. We're going to put that on the bottom. We do not need more lands. That was kind of our problem last game. So I probably lead with Free Blade because it can quickly get big enough that it can't be killed. So I'll have to kill it like right away um, if he wants to kill it with Wild Slash or whatever. So yeah, I'll play the Free Blade. I mean, it can be killed by other stuff in his deck, of course, after it gets renowned. But blanking a few of his renowned spells seems good. I mean, a few of his spells. I don't know why I said renowned spells. So it looks like he's probably going to search up Wild Slash. Uh, I mean, a mountain and then Fiery Impulse, Wild Slash. Yeah. Granted, I mean, he's going to have Spell Mastery too, most likely. So that's worth remembering. Um, here I think I'm going to play my Dragon Slayer and see if he gets to survive. Would be nice if he did. Probably won't. Yeah, this deck, this deck is a brutal matchup for this one. Um, like I said, I was looking for a world without Siege Rhinos. And we mostly found it. We played four matches where we think we had pretty favorable matchups. Um, and this fifth one, not so much. <laughs> but, I mean, you know, if we get our Wing Mare against this deck, I th I'll feel pretty good. Um, my opponent's probably wondering what our face down card is because it's a little bit weird. Right, so I say we swing with it. Looks like he lives. Um, I'm actually going to skip playing a land here just to thin out my deck a little more and just play a uh, Relic Seeker. I'm going to hold on to Dragon Hunter. Um, I mean, the chances my opponent has um, do three damage to everything uh, are pretty decent, so... I'd rather not like completely over over uh play too many cards basically. There's a word for it that I can't overcommit. Radiant Flames, yeah. So that's what he had. <laughs> I thought he might, and he did. Well Radiant Purge would have been better in this matchup than I thought, because I should have thought about those lands. Anyway, we'll play our knight, but I think we're in trouble now that he dealt with our board. But we do get to thin out our library a little bit. Which maybe means we get to, uh, I'm just going to play the knight and sort of test test the waters, see what our opponent does. I would love our Archangel. Here comes Siege Rhino. No, Dark Dwellers. Uh, yeah, you can Impulse my knight, so that's really bad. Yeah, this deck, this deck's pretty brutal against us. <laughs> I mean, uh... I just, yeah, I mean, we're, and we're drawing, we're draw, drawing well either, which of course is bad. But even if we were drawing well, this deck, this matchup is pretty awful. So, so you have lots of people running, uh, you know, Mardu Green or whatever you want to call this deck in your area. This deck's not nearly as good because um, they have, they run lots of cards like Radiant Flames. On top of that, they have like Siege Rhino, and that's not really ideal for us in the least. So he's going to get in for six here. Six. I was going to say seven. And Fenza. You're not what I want right now. I want my Archangel. Archangel. My Archangel. My Vrind Wingmare wouldn't even be that bad right now. Especially wouldn't be bad if we still have Anafenza in play. All right. Murderous cut, so yeah, we're just getting it handed to us this this match. Hey, Wingmare, you would have been nice like a thousand turns ago, but I'll play you. We're not dead yet. If we can combine you with an Archangel, we may even recover, but probably not. Ooh, <laughs> that's <laughs> and he has the mana to make this into a dude. Mmm. So we're taking eight here. Yep. And that's game. So <laughs> we definitely, you know, after dominating our first three matches, 
in match four, I mean, I think we put up a good fight, but in this one, we absolutely got crushed. So we went three and two, so we broke even. That's pretty good when you're playing a 30-ticket uh, deck, I think. Um, it'd be nice to do better, of course, but, uh, you know, matchups and all that. Um, so, but, you know, we make back our 80 play points uh, break even. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.